The human species has six basic emotions. One of the most misunderstood is anxiety. Joining us with more on how to harness our fears to live life to the fullest is world-renowned neuroscientist, Dr. Wendy Suzuki. Her new book, Good Anxiety, just hit stores. We wanna thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. So why does anxiety grip so many of us in a negative way? I mean, we need anxiety in our life. Yes, yes, absolutely. That's one of the main messages of the whole book, that at its core, anxiety is protective for us. It is useful. And I know everybody's saying it doesn't feel protective at all for me. And the reason is that all of us collectively, globally, have turned up the volume on our own anxiety too much. Mm -hmm. And too much of anything, even a good thing, is bad. And so we have uh, kind of gone past the point of where anxiety can be helpful for us. And part of the book is first showing us how to turn that volume down, but also giving the message it is protective. This is a useful emotion for all of us. So when you're talking about turning it up a bit, is that considered clinical anxiety? Mm, yes. So um, anxiety exists on a very wide spectrum. The highest level of severity of anxiety is absolutely clinical anxiety. And that kind of anxiety that, that requires, you know, medical, uh, um, uh, medical uh, uh, interaction yes. has gone up about 30, 30 percent since the start of the pandemic. But I am talking in my book, Good Anxiety, really talks to everybody else that has what I say, what I call everyday anxiety. That mm -hmm. is that fear and worry that typically comes from situations of uncertainty that of course we're all living in right now. And something of course, when you're talking about anxiety or really any emotion, everybody is different, everyone's built differently. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's almost like a pain threshold while some people can sustain certain pain longer or more intensely than others. One may yeah. think that they suffer from higher anxiety than others. So how does one quiet the mind, uh, become yeah. more connected to themselves, to better understand themselves, to know yeah. what their level of severity actually is? Yeah, that's a great question. In fact, that's the most common question. How can I turn my volume down so that it may be anxiety could be more productive. And there's two immediate go-tos that I always tell everybody. Number one is activate your de-stressing part of your nervous system. I don't know if you knew that there's a de-stressing part of your nervous system called the parasympathetic nervous system that decreases your heart rate and respiration and pushes blood from your muscles to your digestive and reproductive organs. And the best way to activate it is to breathe deeply, consciously breathe deeply. I recommend a box breathing technique, which is four counts on an inhale, hold it for four, four counts on an exhale, hold it for four at the bottom. You are literally activating that part of your nervous system that naturally de-stresses you. And it could help even in the midst of an anxiety attack. Number two, move your body. Moving your body, go outside for a walk, go up the stairs, walk around your dining room table, move your body. And my research in my lab at NYU have shown that moving your body is like giving your brain a wonderful bubble bath of good neurochemicals, including dopamine, serotonin, noradrenaline. And what does that do? Immediately decreases those feelings of anxiety or depression and makes you feel better. And that's a very tangible thing to do as well, yes. which I think, yes. you know, anything that someone can see or touch or, you know, it, it would be certainly helpful. But you say that you can make anxiety work for you and that it yeah. creates compassion and fosters creativity. So yes. to know that there's something good waiting for you on the other side, it's worth right. the stress of getting there. It's, it's worth the effort and also very important. Anxiety is never going to go away. It is a critical element of our emotional cavalcade that we have as humans. It is useful. That's the other big message of the book. Our uncomfortable emotions, fear, worry, anger, are telling us something about our values, something about our lives. And when we are able to turn down the volume of our own anxiety so we can look inwards a little bit more and learn about that, that's when these gifts of productivity, of empathy can come out. And kind of that is the promise of the book, a more fulfilling and less stressful life if we can learn to harness the power 
of anxiety. It certainly sounds like a very holistic approach. You know, of course, there yes. are some people who do require medication, but that mm -hmm. shouldn't be necessarily the first thing that someone jumps to that they really should look within and try to figure out a way in which to holistically deal with their level of anxiety and then turn it into a positive. Well, Dr. Suzuki, your book, Good Anxiety, Harnessing the Power of the Most Misunderstood Emotion. It is on store shelves as we speak. I want to thank you so much. And if I can just also say Good Housekeeping named you one of 10 women changing the way we see the world. And I just want to congratulate you on that as well. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you for having me. We're back after this.